There we go. I was about to say, whoa, there's no real episode uh, episode intro. In sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Morning. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Not a bad room. It's the room from I, the outro. Um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he coughs up blood. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing oh. room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. All right. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. Nope, not good enough. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. All right, is this about Faith and Lily? Where's this going? I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. Yep. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? Mm. How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. I don't know. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Think. Think because I can't follow this. Yeah, there's probably no Can't way. We just <sighs> take I don't know. The ribbon off. No, these lips are sealed. What? Can't. You can't. It's not gonna happen. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> it's the good chair too. Okay, I get it. Something will happen to her if it goes off. If you take them off. What, is it off of her head? If 
anyone find out I came here? That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. What are you worried about? Just... Who knows? Please, don't say anything. Oh, but it's gonna be snow and she'll wanna know. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse me. Great. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. All right. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. She's trying to clue me in. There we go. That was uh, abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Yeah. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's Nerissa going clued on? me in. That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Who, oh, the crooked Baby, man? You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the crooked man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. All right. Very well. Once upon a time, and now on to the next clue. At least now we know that's the only way Nerissa can actually tell me anything. Very, very, very indirectly. All right, before I forget. Again, I'm not on Xbox that often anymore, so I forget to do that. Noon. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Oh, boy. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed. Nope. To the end of the hall. Aw, oh, then when we go any further. I have to agree to it. And when were you going to help? Shut up and open the door. It's the police. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or uh was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet with all oh, the sneaking boy. around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Beast. If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Yes, I don't care about her. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. All right, so. Now then, what am I looking at? Oh, there's no cursor, anyway. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment Ooh. in the Woodlands. Ooh, nice house. 
An armoire. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Very solid. He was keeping secrets for you. Mm. Talk about living in the past. Do you want to keep fighting about Magnificently that? created painting. Sort this out. An oh. urn. We can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. So now what? We'll finish this later. I'm gonna wait for him. To talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. I don't know what the electric chandelier is thing. It's a very nice and ornate chandelier. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. Very lavish. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to come. Here he comes. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. How bad is it? I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. I don't know, you might be next. Isn't that bad enough? You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. Yes. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Maybe the painting I could We're understand. We're a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Sure. Anyway, it's the phone. It's the boxy phone from the 1990s. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't finish come this to conversation right first? I no. Come on. We'll get back to you. Distract him. So you are next. Yourselves into. The crooked man's gonna get his one way or another. Very nice. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? They have no choice. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Who gets loans at a pawn shop anyway? What's really going on at this place? The Crooked Man dirty, knows dirty what people need to get by. So, he provides. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. Jersey Devil. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. So that's probably how Bloody Mary got that. 
There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go this there. This seems like a very Sounds dangerous like idea. Get beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Oh, it's the place oh. on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get uh, What is it? What are you delivering? What's Organs? going on? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And you were hooked. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No. Johan is the one who hands over the packages. You know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin. You know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I got two places to look into. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Say nothing. I have nothing to say to these two. Bigby. So, where are you going? I actually don't I know. Go sideways. I'd like to know where it's coming from. Again, a choice where to go. Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man. So she got the money to get place. by. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. <laughs> you know that that's a horrible shop, thing to say. The cut above. The thing is, I don't. Think I don't it's know, meat. man. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. I'm going to the butcher, butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There's Good. Nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. There we go. Wait, I hope I made the right choice. I don't choice. know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well... Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What, what do you go say? away? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Sure you are, speaking through your teeth. You even want me to come in. Great. There was a wolf. And he blew down a couple of houses and ate some pigs. And he also tried to eat Little Red Riding Hood. And in some stories, he did. 